thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to unbox the Corsair RGB Ultra Wireless Gaming Mouse. Um, I have the Corsair Night Sword on my main setup. However, I recently got the Lenovo um, Slim 7 Pro X 14 inch 3K gaming laptop. Um, and I needed a mouse to go with my new keyboard. So I'm in the process of creating a portable setup um, that I can take with me whenever I travel. I'm going to do kind of a like what's in my bag video so you all can see what that entire setup consists of. Um, but the next piece to that setup is this Corsair gaming mouse. Um, this gaming mouse has, um, this gaming mouse, excuse me, this ga gaming mouse includes Corsair's Slipstream technology, um, which allows a sub one millisecond response time. Um, it has quick strike buttons um, to, re to really register some of your clicks faster. Um, every company says that. I don't know if, if that actually means anything when Corsair says that. Um, but you can connect this two ways, either Bluetooth or through their Slipstream um, USB. Um, it has a 26,000 DPI sensor, which is absolutely insane. Um, fully aluminum frame, um, and you can adjust the weight on the mouse so that if you like a lighter mouse or a heavier mouse, you can get exactly what you're looking for. That was the biggest thing that I was looking for when I chose this mouse here. Um, on my previous mouse, my like I said, my Corsair Night Sword, it is a wired mouse. Um, the weights are a game changer. Anytime I use a lighter mouse now, like, like not that I can't game with it, but I love a heavy, heavy mouse. So I, when I'm using this, I will probably put every single weight in this thing. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Um, I haven't seen this myself, so the only thing I've done up until this point is literally cut the tape on the side. So you are getting my first response or my first reaction as we go through this. Um, as soon as we open the box, first of all, super slim, like, I mean, but I feel like Corsair does a good job of, um, you know, keeping, I would say of packaging their products. Um, I see this control freak thing over here. Um, it reminds me of when I was on console and I used to use a control freak, like, um, what do you call it? Joystick <laughs> extenders. Uh, I don't know why Corsair put that on there, but, um, that's what I think when I think of control freak. Yes, this thing is absolutely it. So it does include this cord here for your charging. Um, I wonder, I mean, I'm assuming you can use it as a wired mouse too, but the whole point of this thing is to be a wireless mouse. So I will put that to the side for now. I will use that at some point. Um, I mean, of course, like to charge, but um, how, do, how do I get this open? I want to show you all the size of this thing because this again is a thing like I love me a good course air gaming mouse um, Everyone like has their own preferences and like you'll hear like oh get this mouse or that mouse like The thing that I learned is a good mouse is like subject like you know that phrase like beauty is in the eye of the beholder Like that's how I feel about a good gaming mouse like the light mice that people love I can't stand them, but this thing here. I already know I'm gonna fall in love with this thing so Got that open. So these here, these pieces here, I'm not sure if you can see them. Um, these are the weights that I was referencing. So um, I will be able to go ahead and pop those right underneath the bottom. That's what these three holes here are for um, in order to in order to have a heavier mouse. Right off the bat, you can, I don't know if y'all can hear those clicks. Um, yeah, this thing is gonna be it. Let me. Let me see how heavy this thing feels. I wonder if it feels as heavy as my Corsair Night Sword. Um, again, that Night Sword is my favorite mouse in the world. How do I get this open? Um, there we go. Um, that Night Sword is, well, oh, so cool thing about these weights. That's really good to know. Um, these weights, there's like multiple, I guess multiple parts to it. I don't know where this just came from, but there's like residue on my fingers. I don't know if y'all can see that, but like residue on my fingers from these weights, which is interesting. Um, but I think I just go ahead and pop that in there like that. Yep. Is that is that correct? Something like that. I'll, I'll get it figured out. 
Oh, it is screwing. It is. It is screwing it. Um, but yeah, I have the Corsair Night Sword. That is my favorite mouse in the world. I am hoping that I love this thing just as much. Um, and I really wanted this one because I like. I wanted a super cool but sleek travel gaming setup, so like I can be at a coffee shop and not have to worry about like a ton of RGB. Like this does have RGB. Um, and RGB is IQ compatible, so um, you'll sync it with IQ software. Um, I love for, uh, IQ software. It could be better, but um, out of the ones that I've tried at least, I absolutely love it. Um, this frame is super durable. This is aluminum. This mouse still is a bit lighter than my Corsair Night Sword, um, but you know, for a, like a new mouse, I will absolutely, like I am not against that at all. Um, I like the clickiness of this thing for sure. Um, I don't know what these are for here, um, but another thing, it might be for, I'll know when I try it out, but I'm wondering if this has like three different sensitivity settings. The Corsair Night Sword, which again, I'm comparing this to my favorite mouse in the world, has three different sensitivity levels. So like a super slow one uh, and then a super fast one. I love playing on the fastest one possible. Um, and it has like three different lights to show you. Um, let me zoom in so y'all can see this a bit better. Um, Oh, I, I think I think we are zoomed all the way in. Okay, um, but yeah, it has three different sensitivity settings so that you can, um, and it has like different lights to let you know which one you're on. I'm wondering if that's what these are used for, but these might actually be functional buttons. So I'll have to check that out and let y'all know in my follow up uh, when I do kind of that that uh, setup review. Subscribe to the channel so you can see that when I release that. Additionally, this button here, I think is super underrated. Um, if you play shooters, as you see like this button here, the little red button has a cursor on it. That cursor, when you press it, let's say you're aiming at someone, you press the button, it slows your sensitivity down so much so you can like get that perfect shot. Ironically, I never use it. Um, <laughs> um, I like, yeah, but it's that my Corsair Night Sword is so good. It's such a good mouse that like I haven't had to use all the functionality, but I wanted something compatible and wireless for when I'm out and about um, and it's taking my travel setup. And then of course, like you can connect it via the little USB doggle that they have here. Um, I'm assuming you can play with it wired. Um, and then of course, as you'll see at the bottom, there are Bluetooth settings as well. So um, in short, I'm super excited about this mouse. Um, there are several functional buttons. Again, I think these two here are functional. I'm assuming they are. Of course, you can click your scroll wheel. Um, scroll wheel is impeccable, actually. I, I love the scroll wheels where like each little turn you feel the little nudge or bump. Um, that's how this one is. Um, in addition to that, I love the clicks of this mouse. Um, but then these two are my favorite um, clickable buttons. On my Corsair Night Sword, I've actually kind of broke this button, but that is with how many years of use in that mouse? Almost almost four years of use and a lot of gaming with that mouse. So um, yeah, that's not, not like two and a half years of use with that mouse, um, but it, it's still functional. It's just kind of falling out. Um, so I will replace that at some point. This mouse retailed at $89.99, I believe is what I got it for. Um, it is around the holiday season, so I don't know if that price will um, go go back up after the holiday season. Um, this is what will light up here, this Corsair logo. That's what will sync. Um, it doesn't look like there's RGB right here, so I don't think that this has the multi-sensitivity, but again, I will let y'all know about that. Um, still a decent, like, I love this mouse. If you like a heavy mouse, you can have that. If you like a lighter mouse, you can take those weights right out. Um, but this thing, I am super, super excited to, to put this into use. Corsair makes incredible gaming mice. Incredible gaming mice. So I, yeah, if, if y'all look for a gaming mouse, I've linked this down in my bio. Um, definitely give it, definitely check it out. Um, and without further ado, like I said, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here, or even if it's your second time here, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.